Hello, I'm Erin Bauer and I'm the Extension Associate in the Pesticide Safety Education Program Office at the University of Nebraska-Lincoln. You may not always think about disposal, but it is a very important. Rinse and disposal of pesticides and pesticide containers um, information can be found on the label directions. For pesticide containers um, containing liquid uh, pesticide, you can either triple rinse or pressure rinse. Triple rinsing uh, procedure is where you rinse out pesticide containers three times to remove any excess pesticide that's in the container. Where pressure rinsing uses a pressure rinser, which has a spearheaded nozzle that's attached to a water hose to power rinse the residue from the inside of the pesticide container. When you're doing this, you want to always use an anti-siphon device. Then you will end up with a rinsate that should always be applied to a targeted site that's listed on the label. For more um, in-depth details about rinsing techniques, you can see the NEB Guide Rinsing Pesticide Containers or other publications on the Extension website. Now, Nebraska does not have a statewide waste or excess pesticide disposal program. An example of, ex of statewide waste would be something you would clean up from the spill, um, such as the absorbed material that you keep in a disposal drum. So you have two options for disposal. You can either hold on to the products and hope that Nebraska will, at some point in the future, have a disposal program, but you also need to store these products properly during that time. You also can pay for disposal yourself. The Nebraska Department of Environmental Quality provides a list of several commercial firms that you can consult about disposal of waste and excess pesticides. See the Pesticide Safety Education Program website under Environmental Protection for this list. Remember that disposal is a part of your overall um, pesticide management program, which also includes spill management, application, and storage.